Welcome again. Right now we're at Romans chapter 15 and we're reading verses 14 all the way through to the end of the chapter, verse 33. And we're reading about Paul's visit to Rome. Paul writes, I myself am also persuaded about you, my brothers. Keep in mind, Paul is not really talking to you, but he's talking to the believers in Rome. That you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able also to admonish others. But I write the more boldly to you in part, as reminding you, because of the grace that was given to me by God, that I should be a servant of Mashiach Yeshua, or Christ Jesus, to the Gentiles, serving as a priest of the good news, or the gospel of God, that the offering up of the Gentiles might be made acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. I have, therefore, my boasting in Christ Jesus, in things pertaining to God. For I will not dare to speak of any things except those which Christ worked through me, for the obedience of the Gentiles. Obedience. Did you get that? For obedience, not for faith so that people can say I'm saved by grace through faith and I, I don't really have to obey. I'm just saved because I accepted the Lord in my heart. That's not what he said. He said, for obedience. For the obedience of the Gentiles, by word and deed, in the power of signs and wonders. You see, that we do not see because we're reading Paul's letter here. We don't see how he really operated personally. Like, I mean, in person. In the power of God's Spirit, so that from Jerusalem... And around as far as Illyricum, I have fully preached the good news or the gospel of Christ. Yes, making it my aim to preach the good news, not where Christ was already named, that I might not build on another's foundation. But, as it is written, quote, They will see, to whom no news of him came. They who haven't heard will understand. And that is Yeshiahu. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 15. Therefore also I was hindered these many times from coming to you, but now no longer having any place in these regions and having these many years a longing to come to you, whenever I travel to Spain, I will come to you. For I hope to see you on my journey and to be helped on my way there by you, if first I may enjoy your company for a while. But now, I say, I am going to Jerusalem, serving the saints, for it has been the good pleasure of Macedonia and Achaia to make a certain contribution for the poor among the saints who are at Jerusalem. Yes, it has been their good pleasure, and they are debtors. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things, they owe it to them also to serve them in fleshly things. When, therefore, I have accomplished this and have sealed to them this fruit, I will go on by way of you to Spain. I know that when I come to you, I will come in the fullness of the blessing of the good news or the gospel of Messiah, Christ. Now, I beg you, brothers, by our Lord Jesus and by the love of the Spirit, that you strive together with me in your prayers to God for me, that I may be delivered from those who are disobedient in Judea, and that my service, which I have for Jerusalem, may be acceptable to the saints, that I may come to you in joy through the will of God and together with you find rest. Now the God of peace be with you all. Amen. And may the God of peace be with you as you seek him with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.